Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your fucking boy, Ben Winter TV2. You're a real nigga, so you know the movie better. I have a hunch, y'all nigga, I can front y'all nigga. I'm a young nigga, bossed up a group of folk nigga. I slide up and fly pressure punch. And you know, I'm just rolling around, hoverboarding, about to smoke a little number. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what I've got for you today, guys, is my full winter, spring, summer, si what the fuck it ain't even spring summer 16 full winter 16 supreme preview now i'm going to be going around basically on the site and i'm going to be reviewing a few items and i'm going to separate them into two categories for you guys um one's going to be you know bonus banquet um crush them and gravy ting on the side you know everything's lovely i can't wait for these hype times to come out and the other is going to be what i call the fucking little shit bin this is the shit of the shit um, I mean, you know, even if this shit was reduced at fucking Audis, you would not cop this shit. Well, you might cop it, but personally I wouldn't. So it's all opinion based. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think at the end and stuff. Um, so I'm going to go through that. But until then, um, yeah, it's been... Right, yeah, what's up YouTube? So like I just said now, um, I've separated the two different... Um, the shitness and the goodness into two different categories as you can see here we've got the KFC bonus banquet ting representing what I think are hot pieces from this season and then we've also got the little shit bin which let's be honest I mean these things are just gonna be flops I mean maybe actually they might be hits it might just be my taste and knowing my luck that'll probably fucking happen but uh nah these ain't really great but anyway let me get on to it I'm gonna start with the good things first um Actually, no, let's start with the shit things. Let's get the shit out of the way before we can see the good. So, yeah, I'm going to go backwards on this one, but actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go there. And here you've got the patchwork pants. Now, I just realised, actually, I'm going to have to fucking preview all of these. I screen grabbed them, but I thought that was a good idea at the time. But, yeah, you got them here. Now, I think certain people could rock them, but personally, I look like a fucking moron wearing these. <laughs> so, uh... I just thought better not, but no, they're just. I can see what they're done, but for me, it's just too many pans. It's too messy. It just, it's just a complete like fucking overhaul of color and mess. But as I said, if you're one of those cool people who can rock it, then maybe you can fucking rock it. Um, adding on to that, we've also got the patchwork top here. Now I know people are going to be hyping over this because you got the fucking. Let's see if I can zoom in there. You got the little supreme logo there. Um, people are going to be saying that, like fucking hyping over that. And yeah, again, yeah, it's kind of cool. If you can rock it, it's kind of cool. But I'll tell you what, the next picture I'll show you proves that wrong. you got the model here. Look, mate, he doesn't even look cool in it. I mean, he looks all right. He's a good-looking guy in that, don't get me wrong. But he's just kind of like, I don't know, you know what I mean? And zoom in on his face there. He looks like a fucking, you are mugging me off, mate, making me wear this shit. Um... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we've got that. Um, we've got this piece of shit hoodie here. Now, I only say it's a piece of shit, actually. That's being a bit harsh, because, yeah, again, some people are going to rate it. But, personally, I just hate these hoodies that we've got, these double-fold things here. Obviously, a lot of people say, well, how do your hoodies work then? But I just like the ones with a straight split, you know. I don't like this whole ones that sink into your neck kind of thing. Um, you know, and, again, that just looks like some fucking Jehovah Witness logo. What is that, Supreme? That's uh, Fair enough, it's retro and shit. It might look cool in the grey and black, but in blue, mate? Hmm. Come on, mate. Um, but yeah, what else have we got here? We've got this top here, this this jacket. I mean, yeah, again, when the model for Supreme doesn't look great in it, you just think, why would I? Like, this guy's paid loads to look good, and he doesn't even rock it cool. Um, I ain't slagging you off, mate, as well. Like, I feel... I ain't being harsh and everything, but it's just it's just how I'm seeing it, isn't it? Like it's it's a new concept for me doing this shit, so I've got to slag someone off. <laughs> but um yeah, we got this shirt here as well, which I've called animal shit. I mean, yeah, again, it's just patchwork, it's just no I don't think any thoughts gone into it. It's kinda of like let's just throw a fuckload of patterns down. And yeah, again, as you'll see in a bit, there's so many nicer shirts that you can pick from the drop this season. It's not like you're like limited for choice. So I think this will be another flop. But anyway, we've got the floppage stage out. The floppage, the floppages. Um, let's go on to the KFC bonus banqueting with an extra side of gravy. Um, and yeah, start off with the preview thing. The astronaut puffy jacket. I mean, that's 
again, people are going to be saying, well, hang on, you're a bit fucked up on choice here because that's so loud. But I just look at that and I just think, oh, mate, with a snapback or whatever, like a Supreme Cap, walk, rock that, walk around with it. It's proper loud, but that's proper fresh. I just like, proper like the intricate design there as well, the astronaut on the back. I'm not even sure what it looks like from the front, but obviously it's only a preview, so you get to see little bits of everything. Um, then we've got some caps now. We got the corduroy caps. There, I mean, they're alright. That one there will be pretty hot. Um, I think they've released similar ones before, so that's not even that much of a hype. Um, we've got the lock glossy ripstop cam caps. Now, yeah, again, I just like the one color way of these. I'll try, I'm going to try and cop this one here because it's just one of those hats that's Supreme make a lot of the same hat a lot of the time, but I think that's pretty unique. Like, you look pretty cool going around with that. And then again, whatever color to suit your palette. I mean, these. These are a bit like tarty a little bit, but I mean the yellow might be cool or yeah blue. I mean the black and the red for me look a bit a bit seedy, but um <laughs> but uh anyway, that's them. Um we got this pullover here. Now I know they're releasing the bogos. I was gonna throw them in here, but I just thought for the sake of it, just putting bogos in for bogos' sake is not really worth it. They they're more just plain jumpers in this kind of colour, but I thought this was quite unique and cool just because it has the kind of whole pullover vibe. It's got the Supreme, I probably like rate the peach colour that it comes in as well. Um, so the contrast stitch twill pullover, yeah that might be something I have to cop in the next few drops if it's released. Um, and then onto my favourite item of the whole drop. This is the played camp cap. Now I don't know why but I just proper rate this one here, the one in the green. I'm thinking I really want to cop that, it's such a nice hat. Um, and yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with either of those really. You'll, you'll buy them, you'll probably, even if you're a reseller, you'd probably be able to sell them for more. But I'm, I'm going to get that one to keep because that's just, that's one of my favourite pieces of the whole drop. I don't know why. They probably even released it before as well, but I just want a brand new, fresh one. You know, rocking out with a grey hoodie and that looks so crisp. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using all these adjectives, but yeah, still. Um, this is another nice piece from the drop um, Shadow Play Wall Overcoat. Now, I actually really rated this piece, but at the same time, I thought it's one of those things you wear again with a grey hoodie underneath at home. But it's this, this, I bet knowing Supreme will be like four or five hundred pounds at least. Like, knowing their prices recently, it'll be probably like four hundred quid. But I just thought that was a really nice piece, but I couldn't justify getting it because the price, for me anyway, is just too high. Um, we've got another set of hats here. I just thought these are pretty unique. The Wildlife's side pocket camp caps they've got a little wildlife society there I think these will these will probably all sell out as well I'm not sure which colour I'd go for that looks quite cool there and yeah I don't know maybe the blue or the, even the black and stuff they're all, they're all quite nice but yeah I'm definitely not going for the yellow <laughs> on to our last two items um, I just thought again this was quite a chill piece like again they've released similar stuff to this in the past but it's just a shirt hooded played half zip shirt and it just looks cotch again with like the the jersey hood on there that's kind of like lounging like gear you want for the winter kind of stuff you can just cotch out in you know blaze up proper nice little top that um and finally i thought i had to throw a t-shirt <coughs> excuse me losing my voice uh, i thought i had to throw a t-shirt in there so out of all of them i thought they had quite edgy designs this year but I thought out of all of them, the let's fuck one, this one here, it's kind of like crude, but at the same time, I think it's just kind of cool again, like, this will probably be quite a hype piece and sell out pretty quick. But yeah, that's my, pretty much my roundup, guys, for the whole of the full winter drop of the stuff I've spotted anyway. Um, I mean, if you go onto the Supreme site, supremenewyork.com, you've got the whole preview up here. There's loads of cool stuff being released everywhere, like... War Report sweatshirts. I didn't, there's so much stuff I couldn't include just because I didn't want to make this video like 20 minutes long. But um, it still managed to be about 10 minutes long. And look, I'm missing out all this stuff, man. Like, you've got to come around and see this stuff for yourself because 80% of this, the gear this year that they're releasing, it's pretty, it's pretty good stuff. Like, it's not like fucking, I don't know. I've seen shit drops, let's just say that. So I'm pretty hyped about the next upcoming season. Um, I'm going to try and get as many of them on video for you as I can for unboxings and stuff and even though I've got a job nowadays and I've got to go work 9 to 5 all of the week 
Um, I'll probably just be paying the resale prices because, you know, that's how your boy rolls. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching another episode of basically fresh out of the box, but it's more fresh out preview. Um, I'm going to be up with another video next week and the week after. And apart from that, if you like this video, obviously it's a bit boring. It's the first time I've done this kind of on-screen thing. But if you like it, please leave a comment. Um, say what you rate from the drop as well below. I'm interested to hear what you guys say. Um, and yeah, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later.